Howdy guys, Cub here, and welcome back to Hermit Skies. Last time we left off, we were in the nether. I gathered a few more ores, like, just literally like a handful of more ores from the nether. I'm gonna go ahead and dump these off in one of these chests here. I think probably this one down here seems like a good choice. So we got just a few more, not really too much. We also got a little bit of glowstone, which we're definitely going to need in the near future. Some prosperity shards, some quartz, and that's pretty much it, because my pick broke and I had to come back pretty much immediately. So we're back here in the overworld now, and I remembered I got this loot chest at the end of the last episode. Let's go ahead and open this up. We got nine fluid displays from random things. That seems like a good reward. Let's see what these things look like. Fluid dis- what if I put this next to this? Nothing? Nothing. Luckily I can break these without a pickaxe. I need to grab a new pickaxe, but I think instead of just making a new iron pickaxe, Actually, maybe we should do that real quick first here. Let's, yeah, let's first get a iron pickaxe real quick. I want to make a couple of different things today, got today, guys. I thought I saw something weird going on over there. Just some mobs burning up. Just some mobs burning up. No big deal. Let's see. I know I have some iron. I think it might be in this alchemical bag, perhaps. Let's just check. Yeah, here we go. So we'll just make one more iron pickaxe. Hopefully this will be the final iron pickaxe we need to make in this world. And there we go. Perfect. Right there. Okay, so we got our tools back. Let me go ahead and I want to make the Tinker's Construct uh, array today. The the furnace, Tinker's Construct furnace. Probably over in this direction, I would say. But first, I want to make one of the coolest things in the game. So give me a minute here, I'll get the materials, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm not sure you're ready for it. Prepare yourselves. We got a market. We got a market. Check this out. Wait for it. Wait for it! Boom! <laughs> uh, oh, he's running from the... He's running from the pig man. Hang on. Hang on, I gotta take this guy out. He should go back to his post. After we take this guy out. There we go. Yeah, weathered salesperson. <laughs> it's just a little mark and he just falls out of the sky. <laughs> uh, this thing is... Not really that useful, to be honest. But I just like it. Uh, because... Yeah, it's just like, yeah, there's just like a little dude now on our island, which I think is awesome. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. You can, I think you can trade emeralds for, yeah, you see, so you can trade emeralds for seeds, and uh, there's a whole bunch of different, like, varieties of stuff you can get here, obviously. You know, there's even, like, cherry, like, fruit tree saplings and stuff, uh, and also regular vanilla saplings as well, so... It's actually not too bad for, like, purchasing new types of wood saplings and fruit saplings and stuff like that. But I just thought it was awesome that the guy skydives out of nowhere. And just, just yeah, he's going to be here for a while now. He's going to be here for all time, I think. Yeah, that's just awesome. Uh, but the true thing I wanted to show you guys is this. And this is something that I like to call the... I think there's a name for it. Let me see if I can get it right. I think it's this crafting recipe. I'm hoping it's shapeless. Yeah, this thing right here, though. <laughs> yes, the EFLN. Extremely fl extremely fragile little nuke is what I call it. Uh, EFLN. I'm not really sure if that's what the acronym is called or is for, but um, <laughs> this thing, though. Let me, let me uh, make a few more of these. I need a few more gunpowder. I think I had some. Yeah, right here. Make a few more of these, and we'll go to the nether. I want to show you guys the power of the extremely fragile little nuke. Also known as little Nancy. Little Nancy. We're going to go chest out little Nancy in the nether. I'll be right back. All right, guys. We are here in the nether now. Hopefully you guys can see. It's a little bit... I know it's a little bit dark. I'll try and put some torches down here. It's always a little bit dark in the nether, but... Yeah. Check this out, guys. So, EFLN, extremely fragile little nuke, a.k.a. little Nancy... Let's give it a shot. Let's just give it a, give it a toss. <laughs> Look how big an explosion it makes for one gunpowder and a flint. This is amazing. This is a great source of nether rack. What do we get there? We got some iron. Yeah, look at all that nether rack I got right there. Jeez. Let's mine a little bit over here. There we go. Did I just use this to mine, man? Look at this. I got quartz. Did I pick up those diamonds? I think it might have just. Oh no, there's the diamonds. Yep. See, you can mine pretty much anything. It's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful. Let's just let's just get that quartz there, you know. There we go. Yeah. Only problem is there's lava in some spots. I probably don't want to do this too much over here, but yeah, it's pretty it's pretty awesome. 
I like it. <laughs> I like this a lot, actually. <laughs> this is my new favorite thing in this whole mod pack. Just a, it's, it's basically like a fire charge that explodes with the force of a TNT. Which, by the way, like, if this was a vanilla thing, like, if we had fire charges that could do this, like that, I think that would be awesome. Um, except not that big. Like, if we had fire charges in vanilla we could throw like that, I think that's really something that would make a lot of sense, to be honest with you. Let's throw it to this glowstone. There we go. Let's rush in quickly and get this glowstone before lava burns us. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, look at that. Full inventory, full of netherrack, and copper, and diamond, and quartz and glowstone awesome anyways just wanted to show you guys that i really like that thing um and yeah you can do some pretty massive destruction and death and murdering with that if you want to yeah <laughs> so that's that uh let's now go back to the old world i think we want to start tinker's construct before i come back here and mine some stuff out all right guys so we're back in the overworld now we got some more grout uh smelting up right here and we got some seared bricks right in here that we can use to make this tinker's construct foundry now, if we look at the quests, we need the following stuff. So we need a controller, a tank, we need a drain, a faucet, a casting table, and a casting basin. So we need all those things right here. So let me go ahead and get crafting, and I'll be right back. So guys, we got the seared bricks down for Tinker's Construct Smeltery, and I want this thing to be pretty, pretty large. I want to be able to smelt a lot of stuff in this. And so I went ahead and made, yeah, the controller right here. We got the tanks on the sides. And then I think we're going to have, like, some bricks here, and maybe some more bricks, if I can make some more here, on the side here. And then we want our faucets, or our drains, rather, to be on the side here. So, one, two, three, four, and I guess we'll put five on each side, so we'll need to actually get another set of two drains. Uh, but then we want, yeah, let's just go ahead and get those right now, actually. Um, so we need a few more... Drain, so let's just craft up those right here, so there we go. Two more of those, we'll need two more faucets as well. Two more of those, and that should be good, perfect. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and put down this one here and here. And we need another basin and another crafting, a casting table or crafting, casting table, casting table. So let's just... Quickly grab those as well, so we need a casting basin. There's one more of those, and one more of these casting table. Perfect, okay. That should be good. Let's now go ahead and we'll place these down. Uh, and also place these bricks down here. And I did also go ahead and make a little bit of stuff underneath this, so we can actually like build down like this, because I think I want hoppers underneath this stuff. So maybe it would be good to place those down first. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put these in here. We'll place the casting tables on this side, let's say. So right there. And the next one. And then we got the basins. Place those over here. Perfect. And then we need the faucets on everything, essentially, right? I'm thinking this is right. There we go. And then... On this side as well. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. I think I'm actually going to go out one more block on this as well. Just so we have some extra space to run around and stuff. But that's it. Yeah. We got the whole thing up. And now, all we need to do is just build this up. Because right now we have somewhat of a decent capacity to smelt stuff. But I'd like to be, like to be pretty massive. I'd like to be able to just pour in whatever we want and have it stay in there, you know, for a while. <laughs> So let's just go ahead and do that now. We'll go ahead and just get a bunch of bricks right here, and we'll build it up. I'm thinking, like, maybe five high, so we'll have an enormous capacity to smelt stuff. I think that will be good. So I'll go ahead and build this up till we're at five blocks of height. Looks like we're at three right now, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so we now have the iron flowing in this tool forge, as you can see. Also went ahead and put hoppers underneath here so that all the blocks of iron, whenever they're done, uh, yeah, whenever they're done pouring and they cool off, they get pulled out automatically into this chest. Gonna do the same thing over here. Got some hoppers up, and so we want to do the same thing with these casting tables. We also have a tool forge here now so we can repair and modify our tools. Uh, we got our part builder and our part chest here. Uh, so that is awesome. 
And now I think what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure we have, you know, like a border around this thing, around this area. We want to be 100% sure we're not going to fall off of this thing. <laughs> and I want to keep smelting up some iron. I also got some sugar cane growing over here, so I want to be able to, you know, make some paper like this. We can get some paper uh, tools as well. And I think the next step is to go ahead and make all the tool parts. So we need to get some blank patterns and make the tool parts here. So I'll go ahead and do that and make all of the Tinker's Construct tool parts. Okay guys, so we got everything up and working here. We got some gold in here as well now. So we can make some more advanced tools. And what I think I want to do... I've heard a lot of you guys in the comments saying that you should make carbon tools. So I think that's what we're going to try and do. I think I have some coal in here. And I think maybe we smelt the coal. Is that how we do it? Let's see. Let's look at uses for coal. Can we smelt it? Fuel. Burns. Smelting. That goes to graphite. Uh, let's see. How do we make carbon? Let's look at carbon. Carbon. It's carbon. Raw carbon. This is what we need. So blocks of coal make raw carbon. Okay. Raw carbon can be made from carbon ore. Blocks of coal. Yeah, okay, so blocks of coal make carbon ore. Cool. Luckily, I got a lot of blocks of coal in here. And we can make some right here and right here. And that should be good for now. Let's just go ahead and throw the rest in there. Here's some more iron we can smelt up as well. So let's go ahead and throw this right on in there. Perfect. And let's see. I think the way we do this, I want to try and do one tool here. Let's try and do... Uh, or make a cast for one tool, I should say. Let's try and do a pickaxe. So let's get the pickaxe head pattern. And I think the way we do this, we make the part builder. Yeah, we put this in here with the part builder and then put a cobblestone in here. Um, like this. Yeah, like that. And then I think we put this in here. And then we want gold on the bottom. Right, because that's what comes out, and then we cast it here, I think, and that should take up two ingots worth, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and that gives us the pickaxe head cast, sweet. Awesome, and then I can put this, hopefully, in here. Yeah, put this right in here, and make the next part of the pickaxe, which is something. Let's see, pickaxe, uh, actually, we go in here, I think. So pickaxe, we need this, we need the small binding. So let's get our binding bit out here, binding pattern. Come in here and do the same thing. There we go, binding, stone binding. Perfect, here, and go. And the other one we needed was what? The other one we needed was the tool rod, tool rod. So let's see if we can find that tool rod. Let's get this out of here. Put down the stone bit. Server restart in five minutes. Can we make it, guys? I think we can. I'm pretty certain we can. So there's that. And then we need the tool rod pattern. The binding cast, rather. There we go. And then go. And so that should be all the casts we need for the pickaxe. And I'm going to make one for the sword, the shovel, and the other tools that I need. Uh, right in here. Actually, it might be worthwhile to go go through and do all these eventually, but that's what I need for the pickaxe. I'll do one for the sword, the shovel. Uh, I think one of the tools is called the mattock, I believe. Let's just take a look here real quick. Tools. Yeah, the mattock. Because uh, it's effective on wood, dirt, and plants. So, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty decent. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, guys. I'll go ahead and make all the casts and stuff I need, and I'll be back. Alright guys, so we went ahead and we made some casts here, as you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and continue with the pickaxe creation. And so I've been looking at this materials new book, and I've been looking at the materials here. I think what I want to go with, I, I want to go with paper, because here it says paper will allow you more modifiers, which is great. Um, so I'm thinking we're going to go with paper in all of our tools. I've also decided, yeah, we're going to go with the carbon, as you guys said. So carbon right here, because... It has attack damage 25, which is amazing. And yeah, uh, it also has uh, mining speed 200, which is really, really good. However, carbon is not the best material you can have on your sword. Uh, so this attack 25 is not the best. There's actually, see if I can find it. I think it's called Supremium. 
No, Signalum. Yeah, 39 attack damage. What? What? Come on, man. That's like one shot in every mob, except for maybe the bosses, like the Ender Dragon. That's that's craziness. That's craziness. 39 damage. But we can't make that yet. Uh, Signalum, if we take a look, it's really kind of expensive. Well, not really terribly expensive. Um, so you need, yeah, for the Signalum ingot, you need Essence and... Then, yeah, you need a bunch of uh, Mystical Agriculture tiers to go through. So, yeah, that's how you get that. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And then I think I was looking for, the like, the third element we need for this pickaxe. I'm thinking we're going to go with... I think we're going to go with some copper. Because it has some decent stuff here. Yeah, here's some copper right here. Uh, so it has, you know, a little bit of extra durability. You get this well-established modifier. Which means that you get additional XP for it. And, yeah, it's, it's also just, like, a cheap thing that we have uh, some of. Uh, so we have some, like, nether copper ore right here. Which I'm going to quickly smelt up. And we have, I think, some copper ingots in here. Yeah, there's copper ingots. And I want to say one of these has copper in it. Uh, let's see. Is this this one, maybe? Let's see. Let's move this out of the inventory. Yeah, copper ore. So, yeah, let's get... Some of this stuff out of here, so we'll just grab a bunch of these right here out of the compacting drawer, and we'll come on over here, put it right on in there, and that should all smelt up. You see, I already got some sublimated carbon in there. Uh, we also have a little bit more raw carbon in here that I'm going to toss in right there, and that should have gone into the bottom, just making sure it did. Yeah, it did. Cool. So that's that, and let's see. Uh, let's see, we got that. Thing is good there. I'm going to make a little bit more raw carbon just by turning this into blocks of coal and plopping this right in there. That should smelt up. So we got a few carbon ingots. Okay, so let's go ahead and make these now. Uh, right, so let's go ahead and make the pickaxe. We got this pattern over here. Let's go ahead and first do the pickaxe head. I'm going to make this out of carbon. So we got to make sure that in here we have carbon on the bottom. And then we're going to pour it out. And that should make ourselves a carbon pickaxe. We're then going to go ahead and get the tool rod going. Uh, tool rod is going to be made out of copper. It's going to be like the handle right there. So I'm going to come over here. Oh. Uh, what happened to... Uh, what happened to our pick? What happened to the pick head? Oh, was it... Oh, we got sucked down here. I see. That's cool. Okay. I forgot I had hoppers underneath there. Uh, copper. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. For the tool rod. And then for the... The binding. The binding cast, which I think is the next thing we need for... This... This tool forge. I think we're going to go with... The... What do you call it? The paper. Paper one. So, let's see if we can... Do this. So, let's just go ahead and... I think we need... Can we put the cast in here, too? Oh, we can. Nice. So, paper. There we go. Paper right there. Paper binding. Awesome. And then I think what we do... We to get this cast back. We'll put these in here. All we got to do is take the rod, the pickaxe head, and combine all of these in the tool forge. So, carbon, copper, and paper and that should give us a decent pick yeah not too bad so let's see it has 1300 durability mining speed 200 attack 29 or 25 almost will establish magnetic so it attracts uh things to us and it has more modifiers it has four modifiers so yeah not too bad not too bad of a pick let's see if we can how quickly it mines here let's line, put down our line of blocks there we go and yeah, not too bad. It's pretty much pretty much instantaneous. So that's fantastic. I like that. Uh, we can now throw this iron pick, this trash iron pick away and get out the carbon pick. Make that our main pick right there. Beautiful. Now it's time to go ahead and I'll make the rest of the tools here. I want to make them in the same sort of pattern. So copper, carbon, and paper. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now for the sword, the shovel, and the axe. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, so we now have ourselves some nice tools here. You can see we got all carbon tools, carbon broadsword, pickaxe, shovel, and lumber axe. And the sword does 25.8 damage per hit. 
So that means we can pretty easily take on these dudes here. These evolved Endermen. So, yeah, pretty... Pretty straightforward to do that now. Let's just go ahead and take this dude on as well. There we go. Get ourselves some Ender Pearls. Very nice. They are very loud, though. I must say. So, we now have all of our tools. We also got an Enderman head. That's good. And, yeah, we got a couple Ender Pearls here. So, I think now we want to put some modifiers on these things. And the modifiers I want, I want to get the... Let's look in here. I want to get the reinforced modifier. So... This thing, yeah, adds a chance to not consume durability, uh, and there's multiple levels of reinforcement. This is basically like unbreaking uh, for the tool. And let's see, I want to, I want to see if I can, uh, if you put, I think, five of these on one tool, then it becomes unbreaking, uh, like unbreakable, like basically immortal, like it'll never break. So I think that's what we want. We want to have a tool that doesn't break. So, I'm going to get some obsidian here. I think I should probably... Maybe I should make like an automatic obsidian generation thing here. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and try and make a obsidian generator here. I'm thinking of just attaching it to this because it doesn't seem like it would be too bad, too difficult. What I'm thinking here is I think maybe we can basically push out the lava from this tank. Or maybe actually it would be better from the top. Let's actually let's actually take it from the top. Whoops. And rip the crucible. No, okay. We still got it right here. Still good. Still good. That should still be pulling. Let's just double check. Make sure this is still pulling on this side. Yeah, okay. Cool. Got to be very careful with this pickaxe. Anyway, I think what we can do... What if we put this here? And then we configure this thing to push lava over to this... Thing right here. Will that work? Uh, let's just try this. Yes, it does. Okay, that's awesome. Alright, so, we got... Let's not... Careful not to mine out that. So, yeah, we got that. That's gonna be filling with lava now, constantly. And so, all we need to do is basically put water on top of this somehow. Now, I thought about maybe using, like, drying racks or something, like, on the side of it. Like that, maybe, but I think these will actually, uh, those will actually, like, catch on fire. So, what I think we need to do is use some chisel and bits, um, which there is, let's see, is there, let's do at, actually, let's just look for the chisel, chisel, and it should be, it's not this one, this is from the chisel mod, there's actually another chisel here, yeah, iron chisel, diamond chisel, so just a stick and a diamond to make that, let's get over here, Get some of our diamonds. We're getting a good amount of diamonds, by the way. And let's see. We're going to go ahead and... Where is my sticks at? Got to be some around here, right? You'd think? Maybe not. Any in here? No. Let's just grab a few. So we'll just do this. Make some sticks. And put that in the crafting table with a diamond. That should give us our chisel. Now, let me try to make something here around the top of this thing that basically will give it a lip so we can place down uh, some water blocks like right on top of that. Okay guys, let's go ahead and see if this will work here. We're going to grab our water bucket and try and place it right on top here, see what happens. So, let's just... Oh, oh, um... Okay, what happened? <laughs> I have no clue what happened there. Can I... Why am I... Oh, I'm picking up lava through the water. That's what's going on. I gotcha. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try and place it on the side here. Did I make this one... Oh, you know what happened here. Ah, oh, snap. Alright, guys. So, I messed up the first attempt at this. And now we're trying to get it on the second try. I want to make sure we're trying to do this correctly here. So, let's just go ahead and place down a line there. It should come out another pixel here, so let's just uh, switch this back to the single bit. So we need to add one extra bit right there. Then we're going to switch this back to the line here. Right like that. And then this needs to come out another bit here. So let's once again change it over to single bit. And then we need to go back to 
the line here, which should take us almost all the way back to there. Let's just get up there and make sure this is correct. It's looking like it is, though. Yeah, okay. I think we got this right this time. I think this will house the water here and allow us to actually place the water on this. So let's just try it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So that is a water source we can just have right up there. And, yeah, once this obsidian is full, I think we can just click it. It'll fill with more lava, and then it's now obsidian. Fills with lava. Yeah, let me just get up here and show you. So that's pretty straightforward. That's really... That's a really easy obsidian maker right there. Perfect. <laughs> this is... This is awesome. And then all we need to do, I think, is just... Let me, uh... Let me see here. We need to get... A hopper. Hopper, where are you at, Hopper? I know you, oh, you're in my inventory. There we go, perfect. So we need a Hopper, and then we need a, something to store this in. So let's look at some chests to potentially get for this. So chest, we don't want a wood chest because there's lava nearby uh, at times. Um, so let's see, we might want an iron chest, perhaps? That could work, so it's a chest surrounded by iron. That's pretty easy, <laughs> pretty easy. Um, let's see, we got bunches of iron over here. Let's just make our way over here. Let's put our bits, uh, back in our bag as well. There we go. A lot of bits now. A lot of bits. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this... Let's put this away, by the way. Let's put that in there, put that in there. Very good. Let's grab our iron. Bunch of that. And I think we also need to get this out of here. Whoop. Yeah, that's iron. Okay. So we need to get this out of here, so we'll just do something like that. And cool that iron off, make it into blocks, so we can have it. So let's go ahead and put down hopper. We should see obsidian start flowing in there. And let's make this iron chest now. So there's a chest. There's our iron. And there is the iron chest. Sweet! Alright, there we go. <laughs> obsidian generator. Complete. That's all it is. <laughs> right there. Pretty, pretty nifty. Pretty compact. So we got a lava generator, a cobblestone generator, lava, lava generator, and obsidian generator all in one. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. So I'm going to leave this to generate some obsidian here for a little while. I'll probably do some sieving in the meantime, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so we went ahead and we left our obsidian maker here for a little while, and we got a whole bunch of obsidian, so I made some reinforcement modifiers here along with the casts. Uh, the recipe is just this one right here, so just obsidian and any type of cast here. Uh, however, I made a mistake. I put on some stuff beforehand, uh, which means that uh, since I put on modifiers, so like if I go ahead and just, you can see... This uses up a modifier, actually, if you put this on. Uh, I assume that the reinforcement didn't add modifiers, but it does, actually. So that is a bit of a problem. Um, what I should have done is I should have just not put anything like luck on here yet. And just solely did the reinforcement. So let me just go ahead and do this now, I guess. Let's see. Reinforce 20%. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just do this. We'll add as much reinforcement as we can to this right here. But I went ahead and I added luck to this, which is which is fortune. So that probably was not wise, I would say. Uh, what I could do, though, is I can go and mine in the nether with this thing. Uh, yeah, I think I, can, I think I could do that. And that might help to level this thing up. So I might go ahead and do that. This thing will still continue to generate obsidian here. You see there is a, this thing, we need to basically increase the rate of production of this uh, cobblestone generator, uh, which actually we might be able to do now. So let's just go ahead and break this for now. Uh, let's see, that should have gotten it, yep, right there. So let's go ahead and try and make the next tier of cobblestone generator for this thing. So I think we need some diamonds for it, and I think it's just... You put diamonds around the cobblestone generator like that. Yeah, there we go. Cobblestone generator tier 3. Perfect. Let's go ahead and look at the quest here. Should get ourselves a loot chest. Let's claim this. See what we got. And get our loot box out. Let's see what we get here. Something good. More alchemical bags. Dear God. 
All right, so we have now six alchemical bags, I believe. Wow. All right, that is, that's good. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got two green, two black, and two orange. So we have mobile storage. We're, we're set on mobile storage there for sure. That's, <laughs> that's actually pretty awesome, I have to say. Um, right, so we need to, yeah, we need to level up this tool to continue to add reinforcement to it. So... Let's go ahead and go to the nether. We're going to do a little bit of vein mining there. Hey, there we go. All right, we're now accustomed to the weight of the carbon pickaxe. And now we should have one additional modifier. Yeah, and now we can make this thing totally unbreakable. So that is what we're going to do right now. Let's head back. And we should be able to make our way this way. All the way over to the tinkers area. And let's just put this on here. So one more of these. Should make it unbreakable. Yeah, nice. Sweet. So that is going to be unbreakable now. Uh, the other things, like this, uh, this, this sword, once we level it up, then we should be able to put more uh, reinforcements on it. Uh, same thing with this shovel. We can go ahead and put some reinforcements on it now. Uh, so we can go up to, it looks like, 80% with this. Or so. Yeah, it looks like 80% is the max for this. And there is that for that. All right, sweet. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put a few more reinforcements on the axe. And then we'll be good. All right, guys. One other thing I want to address today is the fact that we now have a cobblestone generator tier 3 here. And by the way, what's actually the tier 4? Let me look at the cobblestone generator tier 4. Uh, cobble gen tier 4 actually requires blaze rods, which we can actually do right now. Um, the tier 5 requires emeralds. Uh, which also is not too bad. But first we have to increase the rate that the crucible smelts because as you can see here, yeah, the hopper here is backed up with cobblestone, so the limiting factor here is the rate the crucible can smelt at. Um, that's why we're not getting any lava in here, and that's why the rate of obsidian production, while fully automatic, is kind of slow. It has to wait for the tank to fill up there, so you can see how slow that's going. So we need to have this thing smelting up much faster. And the way we do that, if we look here in this book, uh, not there, uh, if we look here at the faster crucible processing, uh, we need Yellorium, Blutonium, Ludicrite, Superheating Element, or Awakened Draconium. Um, so we have times 20, times 40, times 60, times 120, times 480. So we need one of those. So let me look up some of those and we'll see which ones we can possibly make. All right, guys, so what we need is we need a Yellorium Ore Block. So I looked it up, and the Yellorium Ore Block is made with Yellorium Ingots, which itself is crafted uh, by basically smelting your uh, Yellorium, or you can go into Mystical Agriculture and get it that way. Uh, and there's also these Yellorium Ore Pieces, which you can actually get through the sieve. And so basically what we need to do is we need to make a, let's see, this is a 12% drop chance from the Iron Stiffened. And if we make a diamond stiffen, we can get a 22% chance. So I think we go ahead and do this. Uh, make maybe a, a few diamond stiffen meshes. Uh, or maybe just one or two diamond stiffen meshes. But we got ourselves a diamond here. So let's grab this. And let's make ourselves a diamond stiffen mesh. And we already have six yellowium ore pieces from sand, sm or, uh, sand sifted previously. And there's a new quest complete, by the way, right there. But there we go. Diamond mesh down. So now I need to get some sand. And we're going to go ahead and try and grind for this Yellorium block. Okay, guys. So we got our Yellorium here. We smelted it up in the smeltery to double the amounts. And we have quite a few blocks of Yellorium now. Can we actually... There we go. Get the Yellorium block. Perfect. So let's go ahead and just get the other two blocks out of there that should I think probably do it and let's now go ahead and come on over here we're going to take out this block here we're going to grab the lava 
And we're going to place Yellurium down right there. And now, there we go. Moving at 20 times pace. So guys, with that Yellurium block now placed down, our Crucible is producing lava at a much quicker rate, which means that our Obsidian generator is now generating Obsidian much, much faster. And we also have a, real quickly here, a farm over here with some sugarcane and some cacti um, that we just recently set up. So we have some of that stuff going on as well. So I think with that, guys, I'm going to call it an episode. We got a lot done today, but if you want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.